Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. In today's video, my plan is simple. Continue gaining points, continue looking for best in slot PvE pieces, and maybe do quite a lot of clue scrolls. Not gonna keep the intro too long. Let's jump right into the progress. So the first thing I wanna do is actually open these hard clue scrolls. I've just been kind of passively doing them. So let's go ahead and see if we get something nice. Start it off with an Armadil Coif and Bandos Chaps. If these are a unique, I might actually get a task out of this. And it looks to be the case. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure this will complete my full armadillo set. Bang, just like that. Full. How is that 80 points? Okay, well, we got it, right? That's cool. But it's only 80 pointer. But that was basically what I wanted to get. So that's pretty good. I don't know if there is any other clues with that. But the next clue is going to be clue number 50. So there's the second Robin Hood hat with another Helardic shield. Okay, yeah, we take those. There we go, we pulled a Rune shield, another Heraldic with Ancient Bracers, which I already have. And we got the Dual Sai as well, which I think I already have as well. Ooh. No. Armakoiv, Gothic's body, both of those I already have. Armadil Plate Legs as well. And Runeful Helm G is another collection log slot. We go next. I don't know if we got any call slugs here, but Arma page. Pages are very good. And we still have two more, so let's take a look. Another page. Is it unique? It is, in fact, unique. So let's just make sure we grab it. We bank it. And we see if we also completed the full book. So if you guys take a look, there's pages that we have. Let's see. One, two. It doesn't look like this completes anything for us. Uh, but I'm also going to need to think about my bank space because at the moment everything is completely full. So maybe I need to train construction and get my bank space up as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the start of today's episode. I think right now what I'm going to do is I am going to do some bandos. I'm looking for a bandos chest plate and bandos tassets so I can equip everything bandos has to drop. And then I can turn my bandos plate body into a torva plate body, which we got in one of the previous episodes. So let's gear up and do a little bit of bandos. Ever since I last did Bandos, I should now be getting healed from my Bolt Specs as well. Which should help quite a bit, because in the past that would not be possible. My first goal is going to be to kill the boss 15 times without leaving. I think that's gonna be a good way to start. And that is me killing the Bandos whilst all his minions are dead. There we go. Oh! Off a minion! What? Wait, 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 wait. I just got a Bandos assets. Off a minion. Oh my, that has to be so rare, by the way. Even for League's drop rate, that has to be, like, insanely rare. In normal game, the drop chance for Bandos Tassets off a minion is 1 in 16,256. And honestly, I would not be surprised if the drop chance of minions aren't even increased in leagues. Maybe they are, but even then, what, five times increase? It's still like one in, I don't know how many K. That is crazy, that is really lucky. Man, these kills with range are so chill. Like, it's, I don't need to do anything. And there is Org Killer. I believe this is going to be 20 kills or 15 kills in a row without leaving the instance. Again, I don't need any food. I don't need any prayer. This is... With my relics, I can AFK Bandos completely. I need nothing in my inventory. Nah. I got Bandos boots. Nah. I can sacrifice them though. I guess that's something. And I got 50 KC as well. Ah, oh, that's a first dupe. You're telling me I have two Bandos boots so far. Well, if we get more, yeah, we'll just sacrifice them for the Torva or whatever. Nine. <laughs> dude, dude, not another Bandos boots, man. Oi, oi, oi. Honestly, though, that's two extra pairs of boots that I think I can just get rid of for... I don't really know how making Torva works. But I'm not going to complain with bonus pieces, to be honest. So, you know what? Bandos boots, come in here. Let's keep on going, though. We're kill count 66. Not too bad. Oh my god, this is actually the best drop we could have gotten. Bandos Hill, that is basically the rarest drop from here. And we're still missing Bandos chest plate, which is why I'm staying here for. But it always sucks going over the drop rate to try and hunt for the rarest item. For example, on Armadil, we have Arma, Mask, Body and Legs, but I'm missing the hilt. However, this is our third hilt. We have the Sara, we have the Ancient from the Nex. And now we have the Bandos as well, so Zami and Arma to go, but this is amazing. And we're just gonna go ahead and equip the Bandos Godsword, even though it's not points right now. After I equip all of my Godswords, it will be points. 
Hey, and that's a hundred KC. The sound is incredible because I'm landing all the bolt specs. But from here on out, I'm not really getting any points until I get a Bando's chest plate. Okay, well, now that we have General Grador KC over 102, I can always return back to it in the future, but what I do have at the moment is a Torva body in my bank, so there really is no reason to stay at Bandos aside from getting those few points, and I can just do that in the future. So if we were to take a look right now, I do have a lot of Bandos boots, so two of these can be sacrificed, and then I have the Tacits, and then I have the Torva body, so like strength-related things, I'm sorted, all I need to do is undamage the Torva body. So how do we do that? We get our smithing up to 86 and we boost for it, or we get our smithing all the way to level 90. I guess that is now my next goal, so we can equip our very first Torva piece. Apparently I was wrong in my calculations and I still need to get the drop, but I'm just gonna train my smithing now, since I'm already here. Okay, let's see, hand it in. How much XP are we looking at? 216k, that's 84, let's do one more round. If you are wondering what I do for the Crucible, I grab 9 adamant bars, I grab 9 mithril plate legs and 1 mithril bar and that should just about cover everything I need to put into this thing. So this and that, obviously mithril plate legs are viable, so there we go, just like that. And this is now before rune. When I can do rune, I'll do 9 rune and then everything else will be adamant. Uh, that's, I think, the best way to go about it. 240,000 XP. We're now up to 85, one more round. Okay, let's see if this was all we needed. Let's hand it in. How much XP are we talking for rune bars? 330k. That is beautiful. We are now going to go and do some necks. However, if I go in the shop, I have 6,000 points. I've already bought Colossal Blade because I did this on a laptop on a sofa when I was chilling. But we're just gonna buy this Kovacs Grog, which boosts my smithing for four. And I'm just gonna buy two of these for now. And I'll probably worry about some smithing gear uh, the next time I come to this place. Not for now though. And this is gonna boost our smithing when we do finally get the Bandos piece that I can then salvage to make a Torva. I thought I could do it with the boots. I was wrong. But let's gear up for next. One thing I always forget is to speak to Gomal. Uh, because we just completed another combat tier. So if I speak to him and I ask him about combat achievements. Tell him that I've completed the tier. And I should be getting a an XP lamp and a tier 3 Gomal hilt. Which is perfect. I don't know how close I am to the next one. Seems like I'm pretty far away. But let's use this lamp. And I think I'll put one more into farming. So let's take a look. This should be a lot of XP. 240,000. We're up to 68 farming. I'm really just trying to get to 75 because I will be getting magic trees through PvE and then I can just level it up to 99 through just magic trees and not need to worry about everything else that comes with farming. And then herbs, I'll be getting herbs through PvM as well most of the time. So it should be completely chill to finish 99 herb lore as well. So yeah, let's do some next now. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, since the last time we did Nex, they giga buffed the Soul Stealer, as in now every time I ruby spec, which is most of the kill, I should also be getting my prayer back and I should be getting my HP back. So this is what I want to test right now and we're gonna see how it goes and uh, let's hope for some good drops. This time it healed me a bit. It's not a lot, but it's a bit. Okay, first duo of the day, let's see if we can get lucky. Start off with supplies. All right, second KC of the day, let's take a look. Oh, 50 Nihil Shards, that's amazing. Nice, that's huge drop for us. Yeah, it's actually quite noticeable when you hit uh, hundreds. Oh my god, how many was that in a row? But yeah, it heals you 10 prayer and 10 HP on a lot of the Ruby Bolt procs. Now, you do take damage as well, so you don't really notice it on HP, but you do notice it on the prayer. Ooh, 339 Dragon Bolts with some rubies unfinished. This is literally a recipe for infinite rubies. That is perfect. The current Nihil Shard situation is 171. So if I'm doing duos, I need two more drops. If I'm doing solos, I need one more drop of the Nihil Shards. Alright, here we go. Another KC. Not a good drop this time around. Some fire runes and cannonballs, both pretty useless. And we get more blood runes, more rubies. One HP demon. There we go, big damage. That speeds up the ending by quite a lot. We get rubies. And coins. Yeah, it's so funny, we're resetting after every kill and he's like wishing I had bankers. Meanwhile, I could do like 50 kills in a row with my supplies, uh, which is kind of crazy. Yes! Zerite Vamps! Oh my god, that's huge! 
That is absolutely massive. Best in slot van braces right there for us. How many points is this? Only 80. That is a ridiculously low amount of points, but I do not care. That is the second best drop we can get from here, aside from the Zerite crossbow. I'm so happy about this. Oh, that's awesome feeling, man. Grinding these duos for many, many hours every day, and we finally get something. <laughs> oh, that is bad. <laughs> that is the downside of intentionally dying. If I then make a mistake, then I really die. Well, shit. I got the web braces, though. Okay, let's see. How much is my reclaim cost? Wait, I lost all my items. Wait, what? I don't have a... Why is there no gravestone? Hello? Okay, so apparently when you die, you can claim it in this chest. I had like a mini panic attack. Unlock. Pay a hundred thousand. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting my items back. We're good. Bro, this death mechanic changes. I legit panicked, man. I don't know how they work anymore. But uh, yeah, maybe I'm not gonna intentionally be <laughs> dropping low HP when I don't even know how this shit works. Uh, but anyways, okay, we got our items back. We're chilling, I think. All right, now that we got the death out of the way, let's figure out the differences between my best in slot and what I've been using up until now. So I've been using these ancient braces, you know, 11 range strength, not the worst, little bit of defense, one prayer. And now the upgrade, 18 range strength, defense doesn't really matter. And then here we have plus range strength, I mean, 18 range and plus the range strength. So the difference is actually pretty massive. I'll be gladly using my Zarite Vampresses now. If you were wondering why I get all the MVPs, this, the amount of specs, that's your answer. Uh, but also like, I guess melee, just in general on next, basically never going to get an MVP. Uh, but there we go, another KC, no back to back. Let's keep it going. Uncut diamonds, good for crafting. And then a bunch of supplies. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe today's the lucky day. Ooh, we got Onyx Bolts. Pretty good drop. Okay, here we go, here we go. What do we get? Nothing. All right. Good luck, good luck. Oh, <gasps> ne, nai, what? No, the first dupe. Oh, no. Well, we got another one. <laughs> well, at least they're like 150 mil. So I could put them in the storage, like in the death storage, and I can have permanent reclaims. So that's the silver lining on this. Damn, they are so expensive, by the way. Well, on the main game. Uh, but yeah, it's not all too bad that I got that item, but completely useless for us. Back-to-back -back situation. Let's take a look. Uh, not for me. We got rubies and we got wine of Zami. What do we got? Supplies. Nothing for me, nothing for him. Well, I'll take the Anka diamonds, I guess, for crafting XP. And we get rubies and some air rune. Death runes and prey potions. Rubies and fire rune for KC 114. Okay, still grinding next. We're trying to get an item for helicopter here and we get a key. <gasps> there it is. Let's go. We can go TOA right now. Let's go, dude. Huge. Okay, there we go. We had to go for a back to back and now we're going to do some TOA. Let's see. Back to back. Oof. It's a good drop, but it's not what we need. <sighs> nice. Another 500. I almost choked in the middle. We sprinted. Oh, yeah, there's a purple. Is it mine, though? How do you check if it's mine or not? I think it's not mine. It's his. Damn it. I have two purples in 10 raids, which is pretty unlucky. Oh, another Mazori body, man. Oof. That would have been sick. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got. Torstals and diamonds and mahogany logs. We'll take it. Oh, please be purple. It is purple. Is it mine? It is mine. He went there. Okay. Please, please, please. No ring. No Mazori mask. I want Mazori body. I want Mazori legs. Mm, not again, bro. This is disaster. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> This is really pain. If you guys remember the master step in my bank, I am going to complete it right now. So you're stanking a Jed hit. Ooh, big hit. And that is dead Jed. We got a speed task completed as well. For my second step, I need to do two quests. So I guess we need a quest. That is Throne of Miscellanea. And there we go, Royal Trouble completed. Bunch of XP. 
but most importantly, we now did the step. Good morning, I finished my master clue scroll, let's go ahead and see if we get something good. What are the chances of that happening actually? I got two gloves of darkness in the same roll, torture ornament kit, uh, but don't think I can use any of that really. I'll take the 40 wines of Zami though, that's pretty decent. Okay, so now since it is the morning, I will most likely... Oh, 10 Master Uniques as well, that's pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, I will most likely complete the quests for the Elite Clue that I want to do as well. So then I can just do any type of clues that I'm in the mood to do at the time. Okay, I think it is here that I need to go to finish this quest. Yeah, I just need to speak to Genie. Funnily enough, the quest I need to speak to Genie. And on my thingy, I need to speak to Genie. So here's the Elite Casket, and now the quest... <laughs> We'll also have me speak to this guy. And that's it, 8,000 prayer XP, well, a little bit more. Uh, some thieving, some magic, and we now can pray at the shrine as well. And we now have the elite casket as well. So I'm gonna go back to completing some elite clues. They take a little bit of time to do. And if I get stopped by a quest requirement again, I guess I'll do a few more quests. But let's uh, very quickly take a look at what is in this elite clue scroll. Oi, 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 it's a bit of a disaster. Let's do a few more. I decided to do five more elite caskets. Let's take a look if we get something good. Starting off with a bucket helm, no uniques. Moving on to still no uniques. This is really unlucky. Moving on to another bucket helm and the dragon full helm ornament kit, which we cannot use. So far, pretty disappointing opening, not gonna lie. Summer pies. Can I use this at this point? Probably not. I think my agility is already too high. Again, loot is uh, atrociously bad. And last one, we get an afro, we get at least a few uniques. Dragon legs or skirt ornament kit is maybe kind of cool. So I guess this one's not the worst. Whilst we're at it, let's go ahead and put the ornament kit onto the legs and wear them. It's actually pretty cool. Not a task though. Right now, I have a very clear idea of what I want to do. If you look at the top left corner of my bank, I have absolutely no free space. If you look at my construction level, it is very low. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of construction minigame. There are a lot of tasks when it comes to mahogany homes, so we will be doing probably quite a lot of these. It looks that I can't do expert just yet though, so let's do a couple of adept contracts first. Here is 70 construction, so now it should be even faster and obviously I'll use some of my money to make more mahogany planks. I don't really have a final level in mind at the moment. I'm just in the mood to train some construction and I've never really done this minigame in my life and it's honestly kinda chill. It's a fun way to train construction, especially with this plugin. I just uh, play a little bit of Tetris, click the green boxes and get decent XP. So it's definitely a bit of a refreshing way in comparison to just making mahogany tables over and over again for like five hours. I want to see the XP drop from this at the very end. It's 44k, that's pretty decent. Here's a task of completing the expert mahogany home tasks. And as you can see, if I teleport out, I can come right back here, grab a contract, Take a tier 70 and just keep this going. I'm up to level 74 construction and we can now afford our very first reward from uh, the Mahogany Homes. Let's go ahead and buy the most expensive one, Amis Saw. So this should basically be an equipable saw and I can now bang this one. So our next reward is going to be obtaining a plank sack. I don't really know how this works, but there's 40 more points. For the first piece of carpenter outfit, let's go ahead and purchase the boots. And there is 50 completed mahogany home contracts. I'm running a little bit low on the steel bars, but that's okay because I don't plan on going all the way to 99 now anyways. I do believe I can check my rewards. I'm gonna save a bit more and get the shirt first. My second reward is going to be the shirt, as I said before, that is two out of four completed. Three out of four, a carpenter's helmet. There we go. And just like that, I do believe we now have enough points to unlock the carpenter's trousers. So this was quite a process, but it was a very enjoyable process. As you can see, I completed 77 contracts and I went from level 70 something construction to basically 90. And there is the 200 points that I was going for. But you know what? I cannot leave it this close to a level. So let me go do one more contract very quickly. And there we go, just like that. This was a really enjoyable minigame. Again, I've never done this in my life, playing this game. And here we have 90 construction, full carpenter's outfit. We also have an army cell. We basically fully completed this minigame. However, I will be returning to it because there's more points 
so I'm most likely gonna go past level 99 construction just to finish all the points. But that being said, I do believe this is a very fitting place to end today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of clues, a little bit of PVMing, a little bit of skilling, just everything. And if you did, a simple like goes a very long way. It helps me out and it's completely free to do. As always, I will be seeing you guys again tomorrow with another upload and be safe, have a good day and bye-bye.